when you are working with the assignments in my math lab, be it the lessons or for my online students, the lessons, quizzes, and the final, some of the assignments require you to show work for some of the questions. When you click on a question, the show work box should automatically appear. If not, change your computer settings and allow pop-ups or you can click on the show work button and to the right of the question. Now to show work you have different options up here. You can type out the steps. You can include a math expression that involves a fraction, square root, or maybe a Greek symbol. Or the one I recommend is the draw tool. Now with the draw tool you can change the thickness of the pencil by pulling down the menu and if you make a mistake the eraser is right beside the pencil and with the pull down menu you can also change the size of the eraser so let's look at our example find the prime factorization of the following number write any repeated factors using exponents now this is a question from one of the lessons and remember with the lessons for each question you have three attempts and if you do not get the question right after the third attempt click on similar exercise to generate a brand new question with three more attempts for my online students the quizzes and final do not have this particular option only the lessons for this question we need to break down 468 I'm going to use the factor tree and you can pick any color that you want you can change the color throughout the process just for emphasis if you like so we have 468 and by the way I'm drawing or writing by holding down the left side of my mouse now 468 it might be divisible by an even number let's say 4 so 4 can go into 468 uh, let's see 4 can go into 46 11 times and this does not have to be perfect just legible I must be able to read all of your steps and all of your work in order to give you any credit so 4 can go into our number 117 times and also make sure that you show any multiplication division or any steps required to solve the question in order to get any credit also now 117 we can break that down let's try 3 so 3 can go into 117 uh, 3 times and go nine times so 117 can be broken down as 3 times 39 back up here 4 can be broken down as 2 times 2 and last 39 can be broken down as 3 times 13
again this is not perfect but this is what I expect as long as you show all of your steps for the questions that required, require you to show work then you'll be okay now very important always click on save to save your work if you don't you have to start over possibly so click on save and don't forget before you move on to the next question into your final answer so our answer was 2 squared over here you also have tools to choose from hit the superscript button to enter the exponent times 3 squared times 13 now with the lessons you can check your answers so come down here click on check answer and you'll get a message saying whether your answer is right or wrong now if you notice up here for most questions you'll see a check mark and an X mark at the same time don't worry this means that my math lab has graded your answer correctly but it's waiting for me to grade your work to give you full credit so this is how you can use the draw tool that's located in the show work menu future videos I will show you other ways to show your work and also provide another example using the draw tool.